until till you we need 30 to 40 Celsius to raise no ice in one or two. One or two. Because just in the uh, recent Republic Day parade, you have seen CSR Tandalu. So wherein we talked about uh, the purple revolution through our lavender cultivation in Jammu and Kashmir. So the vision of the country today is to enhance the farmers' income and to make the startups as sustainable startups. We from scientific fraternity, we can just hand over a technology to a startup and then we can get ourselves stopped there. We can say that once the technology is transferred, it becomes the responsibility of the startup himself or herself to take it to greater heights. But we are not doing that. We hand hold. Therefore, CSAR never hand shakes. Rather, CSAR hand holds the startup. The best example is again of uh, public revolution. More than 300 agri startups in Jammu and Kashmir are being supported by CSAR's Aroma mission. The means of which the farmers income is doubled. The lavender cultivation is giving now, uh, I would say, a greater confidence to the German and Kashmir uh, people. Women folk are getting trained in the cultivation, starting from sampling. We teach them how to cultivate and also we teach them how to harvest. After harvesting, we teach them and we take their material also to get it extracted for its oil content. Then, with the help of the local NGO, we take the product to the market. Therefore, starting from free sapling up to its market reach, CSR is hand-holding the rural farmers. So, this is one by means of which their income is doubled. Uh, the place is also getting more revenue generation. In terms of turnover, can you quantify? Turnover, I can give you one example, one more example, wherein I can tell you the exact number. Exact number in the case of lemon grass oil, till year 2023, country was importing lemon grass oil. But in the year 2023, country has exported 600 million tons of lemon grass oil just because of CSAR's air wash. This is one number. And second thing you ask for Atmanirbhata, there is one hydrogen hydrate producing uh, manufacturing facility that was dedicated to the nation by the Honorable Prime Minister of the country in the year 2022. That time, he promised that commercial production will start within one year. In the year 2023, first batch of commercial production of hydrogen hydrate started. It is a 10,000 tons per annum manufacturing plant which is producing hydrogen hydrate, which is finding its application in chemical industries, process industries, number of, uh, I would say, uh, chemistry-related, pharmacy-related industrial applications. It is a very important active ingredient. So it is again CSAR IACT's technology. There is one institute from Hyderabad. It is their technology. Is there to know about this lavender Kashmir mm -hmm. Can you quantify? Quantify, right now I don't have the exact number, but I would say the agri startups around how, the... How many I would say that's why the 300 startup means, I would say even in the family, not only the uh, male is getting involved, we just hand hold the female also. And in few cases, few youngsters also. If you go to Jammu and Kashmir, there is one person who is calling himself as a purple man of India. He has named himself as a purple man of India. And to your surprise, wherever CSAR is putting exhibitions, he himself will come. And he will uh, identify himself as a purple man of India. And he himself will be talking to everyone on behalf of CSAR. We are doing nothing for him. We have only helped him. But he himself has become an ambassador for which CSAR is not paying anything. So he is just reciprocating his thanksgiving in this particular way. So this is the uh, success of uh, our uh, purple revolution. And another Atman Elbata, even in the same Republic Day Parade, actually Republic Day Parade, we had three of our uh, indigenous technologies got exhibited and demonstrated. One is our public revolution, second one is you have seen a tractor, Prima 11 tractor. 
The tractor is also indigenously developed by one lab called CMEI, Mechanical Engineering Research Institute, Tulkapu. This is completely indigenously developed. Farmers having up to 1.5 hectare land can make use of this particular uh, tractor. You can ask me what is so special about that tractor. That lab is famous for coming up with India's first tractor, Swara Sovalika. So these are the tractors which were uh, introduced in the market by that laboratory. Now after six years of a gap, now we are coming up with a new tractor. This is the fourth tractor in the series. The same lab is coming up with. This fourth tractor is an e-tractor. So this is an eco-friendly tractor. And this is a women-friendly tractor. So what is it that uh, women-friendly? There are no gears. It is a gear-free tractor. You have buttons. A simple button touch will help the farmer to operate that e-tractor. This is again the second technology that got exhibited in the Republic Day Parade. The third uh, technology, again full of Arthur and Bertha, you have seen uh, two uh, uh, flying past uh, air, aircrafts. So those two aircrafts, they were using sustainable aviation fuel of Indian Institute of Petroleum, Belarus technology. We call it as SAM technology. 200% it is indigenously developed technology, sustainable aviation fuel. Many is again, we don't want to do any harm to the atmosphere. So even in the field of aviation, we want to bring in indigenization and sustainable green fuel also. So this is IIT Belarus uh, contribution. So two drone air aircrafts you will have seen. So they, they fly past two aircrafts, both were fueled by CSR and IAP's technology. 1000 liters of uh, SAF we have already handed over to IAF, Air Force. Now we have signed again agreement with Airbus also, presently in Hyderabad. So Airbus will also be making use of our SAF technology. A few more uh, private players are also talking with this. So this is how, these are the recent examples I have uh, given you, just last week, whatever uh, we have exhibited. So this is how the, we have given low salt for uh, hypertension. That also is uh, CSAS technology. We have transferred this technology to an industry. Even in, who, those who have taken Covaxin during COVID time, the agility is against CSAS technology. So we always probably say those who have already taken Covaxin, you are living with CSR, we have already reached you. So this is how, these are all completely indigenized, uh, I would say, technologies. So in all sectors, whether it is energy sector or uh, healthcare sector, or aroma or metallurgy or earth and oceanography or civil infrastructure. So every day we have aerospace. Aerospace also recently you asked for indigenization. Hansa NG is another aircraft, it is a hobby flying aircraft. It is used for pilot training. Two people can uh, travel in that one. So this Hansa NG, we got the type certification just in the year 2023. So it is out-and-out Indian technology, Hansa NG. So this, even in this Hansa NG, we are now moving towards E-Hansa, electrically operated Hansa. So that may take another few years of its time. So right now it is a fuel, uh, uh, it's a conventionally fuel Hansa, but uh, this type certification we got it very successfully. Again, Tejas, you will see during Republic Day Parade. It is not 100% indigenized. I would say our National Aerospace Laboratory from Bangalore, they have indigenized closer to 40% of its components already in the, through indigenous technologies. Complete import substitute. So my trip to NIO is based on one particular uh, vision or an innovation. So they have indigenously developed the underwater unmanned aerial vehicle. So it is, uh, they have given, it, given the name as Seabot. So I just uh, had the opportunity of launching it uh, just uh, on Sunday, yesterday. So now it can go, it, is, it carries with itself a number of uh, equipments, I would say sensors and gadgets, by means of which you will get real-time data 
when we so we can understand the undersea ecosystem also so now this uh, the speciality of this sea waters it can go to 200 meters even in this shallow plains also this particular uh, sea bot can do the real time data analysis and we will be able to monitor it number one but we have plans to just get its next versions by means of which we will be able to go for deep diving so from 200 meters to we will aim for thousands of meters in the coming days so instead of sending human being to undersea at different levels can we just send this kind of uav by means of which you get not only is the real time data you need not worry about the comeback of the human being also so because many times very ambitiously we want to send human being everywhere but in the first few attempts comeback is a question mark and it is a very very uh, i would say tense to moments we just want to avoid all these things because nmo is fully fully capable of doing this uav and if it will you can just go and see witness a small gallery that they have already created to what extent they have created indigenously developed equipments by means of which this indian oceanography is getting value added by their every effort that could be very easily understood by you you also went 